So I thought I'd do a quick video here just to show you a mod that I completed the other night and this is actually the second time I've attempted this. I did a video on it about two years ago I think and it worked and everything but I was never 100% happy with the the way it all turned out, just the, the quality or the, the finish of the, the mod but this time I think I've uh, kind of cracked it and uh, worked out how to do it properly so I just thought I'd quickly show you it here. So this is a Sega Dreamcast VMU, obviously. This is one of the, the clear green versions. But as you can see, I've now fitted a, a, a backlight to it. And this is a, a proper uh, backlight. It's not like the, the original one, which I'll show you here. This is my original attempt at the mod, which worked fine. It, it does the job and everything. This is like my, my main VMU. But you can see there's a, some unevenness there and um, there's actually some blotches on the screen as well. So the other night I couldn't sleep and I thought, I know, I'll have another go at trying this this mod and um, I'll show you how I did it in just a minute. But yeah, I'm, I was really, really happy with the way it all turned out. I don't know if the camera's not really focusing too well on it, but as you can see there, nice, clean uh, and even distribution of light across the whole screen. There's no blotches or anything and I think it looks really cool. It's just switched itself off. So there we go. Just to the time mode. So yeah I was just really happy with the way it turned out and I thought I'd do a, a quick video on it but I'll show you how I, I did it, uh, what I used and everything. So to complete the mod I used the parts from a faulty Nintendo DS Lite top screen and this is the, the remnants of that screen here. This came out of an old console that I repaired a while back. I think the ribbon cable on this had split so it was basically just junk. But you can see I've taken the, the backlight module out of here, I've just stripped it for parts. This section here is like the, the main LCD panel and the backlight just sits here and shines light through that. So. I'll show you what's left of that. Um, I've basically cut this in half and then cut the, the half to the right size or the right dimensions to fit behind the, the VMU's um, LCD panel here. There's just enough room to fit uh, all of this behind that, so I was kind of lucky. But this is actually made up of several different layers of, I suppose you'd call it optical materials. So the first one here is a, it's like a mirror foil mirror and that just throws all the, the available light forward. On top of that there's a, I suppose this is like the, the most important uh, piece, this is called, I've got some notes here and trying to remember all the, the different names for these, this is called the light guide plate, I'm getting that right, and this is sort of like a fibre optic cable, it's like a flat fibre optic cable would be the best way of describing this, you've got, you've actually got two little LEDs embedded into this. The camera's probably not going to focus on that. There you go. So there's two LEDs here. There's actually four right across this whole screen. So there's there's actually two inside my VMU here. You can just see them lit up there. So that is the, the light guide plate. And that basically throws the, the light right across the, the entire screen. On top of that you've got the prism film. And this gives it a nice white glow. And that sits on top of that, and then finally you've got, a, I suppose, a final diffuser film uh, piece, and that just sits on top of uh, all of these here. So it makes up a, a bit of a, a backlight module sandwich. And then I had to, uh, I just had to wire these up in parallel, and then wire them into the the VMU here. So it will run off the batteries. It'll also run off the the console as well. I'll show you that in just a moment. I still need to make some improvements to that, but I'll give you a quick demonstration of how this module works. So I've got some leftovers here of the the various um, films and plates, and I'll just show you this in action. So I'll stack them all together and kill the lights. So this material does a really good job of uh, giving a nice even glow right across the screen. So I've got my torch here. If I just shine it down one end, you'll see it takes the light and it makes this nice a bit of dust on there. <laughs> it makes a nice um, white glow 
So that works really well when you're wanting to use it for something like a, a backlit LCD screen like this here. So yeah, that's basically how it's all wired up and, well not wired up, but that's how it's all being assembled. There's not a huge amount of space to work with behind this uh, LCD panel here. There's just enough to fit all of these different layers and no more. Wiring it up is a little tricky. Um, as I say, you have to wire up the, the two LEDs and the, uh, this plate here in parallel and that can be quite a difficult task. You can see the size of these LEDs there, tiny, tiny little components. Uh, and then you have to wire it into the, the main board of the, the VMU as well. So not the easiest thing to do, but I think it's, it's worth it. I'll show you it uh, hooked up to the, the console and, and in action. So here's a quick look at it when it's hooked up to a controller and it's nice and bright. You can quite easily see the display. So I'll boot up a game and you can get a look at the different intro screens and everything. So I've got a copy of Sonic Adventure 2 in the, the Dreamcast right now. Just hit A to start it. We've got the Sega logo. Sonic Team. You hear the Dreamcast going mad. <laughs> and uh, Sonic Adventure 2. So yeah, really, really happy with the way it all turned out. Uh, I think it's much better than the, the previous mod that I did. You can see here, it's got a quite uneven uh, glow to it. It's actually quite blotchy as well in patches when you've got it hooked up to the the controller, but this one is much much nicer, really kind of professional looking finish to it. So what I think I'll do next is try this out on one of my blue controllers and maybe one of the, the standard white ones as well. Um, but yeah, overall really really happy with the way it all turned out. Just scan through the different menu options here. Take the time. So yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video on this and just show you uh, how this turned out. So I'll leave links to various videos on the, the subject. I'll leave a link to my old video and uh, some other bits and pieces if you're interested in trying this out for yourself. But yeah, there's my backlit VMU.